Good morning. Hi, everyone. Happy Friday. And for many of you, me included, the last day before winter break. So I'll make today's Facebook Live brief, I think. Um, but I'd love to hear what you think about these Facebook Lives. As many of you know, I was trying out something new, trying to find different ways connect to connect with you. So leave me a comment and let me know if you've liked them, if you haven't liked them, um, if you have a preferred way of hearing from me, I'd love to know. So I want to talk about the three primary ways that you or your institution can work with me and True North Intercultural if or when you're interested. So when I started True North Intercultural in 2016, it was um, more of a, a reactive consulting company. Come to me, tell me what you're looking for in the intercultural te teaching and learning area, and I will create something for you. But after several years of doing that, I've really started to see and understand the patterns in what people need and what they're looking for, and so have developed a more proactive strategy of putting together uh, packages and services that I think really um, will give institutions and individuals not just what they think they're looking for, but also what they need. So the first way that you and your institution can work with me is to bring me to your campus or to your organization to facilitate a workshop or multiple workshops. I typically do full day or multi-day like retreat-like workshops. And these can focus on um, one or two things. They always focus on helping educators um, learn to navigate intercultural differences better. So it's, I typically work with faculty and staff, and it's always about how to help you learn and grow across cultures. But many of the times that is also combined with um, a workshop about how to facilitate intercultural learning. So I will oftentimes work with uh, faculty who lead study abroad programs, like short-term faculty-led programs, as well as international education staff. So staff of international student services offices and study abroad offices, as well as others, but those are the most typical um, populations that I work with. And we'll do a full day workshop that focuses on how you can facilitate others intercultural learning while also developing your own intercultural um, competence in the process. So typically, these workshops um, are usually for groups of about 12 to 24 people. I like to limit it to about 24 because um, it's more of an interactive environment and getting much bigger than that makes that uh, a bit challenging. So starting with a workshop is a great way to introduce a group of faculty or staff at your on your campus to what intercultural learning is, why it's important, and get them started thinking about how they can integrate intercultural learning into their programs or courses or whatever work that they're doing. Um, these are limited. I only do a certain amount per semester because I don't want to be traveling all the time. I have a family and I have values of being with them as much as I can. So I try not to go from hotel room to hotel room. And also the facilitating intercultural learning program. Um, I like to be in one place to do those small group coaching uh, sessions on a regular basis. So if you are interested in doing a workshop, having me to your campus, just make sure to contact me several months in advance, especially if you're looking at popular months like January and May in between semesters so that we can be sure to fit you into the schedule. The second uh, way you can work with me is one that you've hopefully heard of by now, the Facilitating Intercultural Learning Program. So this program really developed out of my years of experience of being hired by universities and seeing what they needed, what worked, what didn't work, and doing all the different things. And now I'm bringing them together in one package. So in the past, I've done workshops. I've done one-on-one -on -one coaching. I've done small group coaching. I've done IDI um, assessment and debriefing. And all of those things are coming together in the facilitating intercultural learning program 
in a package that is accessible to individual educators. You don't have to have a full group at your institution that wants to do something like this in order to participate. Um, and also at a more accessible price. One-on-one -on -one coaching can be very, very pricey, but small group coaching can be more accessible. And I also think sometimes more beneficial because we're bringing together groups of educators that have a wealth of experience to draw from. So while I value what I bring to the table, I also think it's great when we have a group of educators and you can be learning from and with all of them as well. So hopefully you know by now that the Facilitating Intercultural Learning Program is a 12, 12 week, sorry, not 12 month, 12 week professional development program um, for a small cohort of educators in higher education. Um, and it includes online training, small group coaching, again, online, all of this is done virtually, but it feels like we know each other well enough to have met in person. Uh, everyone also takes the IDI and does a one-on-one -on -one debrief with me. Um, and we have a small online community where we're able to support each other, provide resources, feedback, et cetera. And you also get um, time-saving curricular materials so you don't have to reinvent the wheel. All of the activities that we do in the program, you have the materials that you need to use those in your own um, teaching, leading, advising, et cetera. So compared with the workshops, this is taking educators in a much deeper dive. Uh, obviously, one full day versus 12 weeks of content, we're going much deeper into the intercultural concepts and theory. Also, there's a heavier focus on your own intercultural development in large part because you take the IDI and get those results. And we just have time to practice uh, the things that you're learning and then debrief them as a group and get support. And also there's a much heavier emphasis on implementation because you're able to work on implementing throughout the program and get continuous feedback and support unlike you're able to do in a one day workshop. So that's the second way. The third way an institution can work with me, and this is really at the institutional level, not the individual level, is to partner with me to develop and facilitate a capacity building program. So this is really for institutions that have a strategic plan or quality enhancement program that is in some way focused on intercultural learning. And they're really ready to invest time, money, and energy on building the capacity of faculty and staff, and therefore students, intercultural learning and development. So these programs are really tailored to an institution's needs. Um, they can last anywhere from three months to three years um, and can include things like on-site trainings, online trainings, one-on-one -on -one coaching, small group coaching, IDIs and, and debriefs. It really depends on what the goals are. So I work with you and look at what your goals are and then we think about who needs training, what kind of training they need. Oftentimes these programs involve uh, train the trainer aspect where we have a group of faculty and staff that are being trained up to actually serve as intercultural trainers and leaders on the campus. One of my goals is really when I work with an institution in depth like, in depth like this is to um, train myself out of the program. So I'm no longer needed to go in there to do the intercultural training, but I'm really just needed as a support to those who are doing that kind of work. So just as an example, I've been working with an institution now to develop um, a two-year program that includes training, intercultural training, to help all of their staff just navigate cultural differences better. Uh, also more in-depth training with faculty who are teaching in very diverse classrooms. Uh, it also includes one-on-one -on -one coaching with the senior staff so that they can lead um, in these intercultural times in a better, more effective way. Faculty and, staff, faculty and leadership are also taking the IDI. And then there's a select group, 20 to 30 individuals that are being identified so that I can really 
provide them more extensive training and support over an extended period of time to help them develop into intercultural trainers and leaders that will carry this initiative forward after I've, I'm done working with them in a few years. So that's just an example of what an intercultural capacity building project could look like. So those are really the three primary ways that you and or your institution can get started working with True North Intercultural. I do have another program, but that is limited just to people who have gone through the facilitating intercultural learning program that want continued support. So I won't talk about that more. Um, but I often worked with, work with institutions in multiple ways. It's very common that we start with an on-site workshop and then some of the people from that workshop that are particularly interested in de deepening their learning will enroll in the facilitating intercultural learning program, for example. So I think that's about it. If you, if you do want to explore any of these options further, I recently updated um, the website page with all of this information, and I will provide that link in the comments. Uh, but really, it's, it's a matter of setting up a call and having a conversation with me so we can really figure out what your needs are and how I can best partner with you to help you achieve your goals. So thanks so much for listening to all of you who are going on break, celebrating holidays, enjoy, and everyone else just keep on doing the great work that you're doing. Cheers.